Time for one shot qualify up. <laughs> Restart. Restart. It's time for one shot challenge for the touring class. We have a relatively aggressive setup on this car. Considering it is four wheel drive, it's going to be pretty understeery to start with. Let me make it understeer a little bit more so that we can go really, really aggressive in a lot of these corners. Hopefully, anyway. That's the plan. We'll see how it actually pans out. <laughs> This exact challenge was up about two or three months ago. It's kind of a shame you can't see your all-time best time with a car and track combo easily. It'll be interesting to compare how I did then with how I do now. Especially since that would have been with a pad, but I was still debating between both of these cars at that point. Before I finally decided on the Skyline. Which is much easier to drive with a wheel, that is for sure. It doesn't have anywhere near the same levels of oversteer that you get with a pad. And with all my mistakes, I'm still catching up to this AR. So that's a little worrying for the rest of the AI that I will likely catch at least one of them a lot. I'd prefer to catch them obviously right here going into the main straightaway. So if they were about six car lengths, four to six car lengths ahead here, that's the perfect place to get them. Now that's gonna hurt my speed a little bit. That was silly of me. But we're still going in faster than the first lap. That's still something. Really slide it in aggressively here. Try and be in a, as aggressive as we dare here without, without going so aggressive that we spin it. Although with this setup that's actually fairly difficult unless we really rip the wheel in one direction very hard very quickly. That penalty still annoys me. Because you can sort of chop across that corner in such a way that you never really honestly have four wheels off. You'll have three off, but never actually have four, but it'll still pay you for it. Obviously locking the tires is not ideal. But we had to get some pretty aggressive braking done there. about our only option left to take that corner. Wow, the car behaved really oddly there. You sort of start to learn the poor decisions that the AI is going to make. And every once in a while, you guess correctly utilize that to your advantage. Really, I should still be in third there, but I'm not coming off of that first corner well enough to really get through that second section as well as I'd like. Well, I still did a little bit better there. That's going to lose at least that much time. much better there. So we're going to gain a little bit by not getting that penalty. Now we have to hope that we can catch this guy and pass him on this straightaway. That basically eliminates the chance of him holding us up in the corner. A little bit of a lockup, but nothing to really write home about. Too aggressive there. 
but realistically we didn't lose much, if any, time because of it, because we hadn't really taken it that well on any of the previous laps. We got a really good exit there. Now we just try and stay in it. Shift to the last second. Yeah, we did improve a little bit. There's only a few tents, but every little bit matters. Let's see where we were in relation to the platinum time. Not too bad. Should be another 30% or so. Not too bad indeed. 